Hurricane Irma, big, brutal, and headed right for us. And when it arrives, it could be a Category 5 and catastrophic. Around 1800 that night, I got a call from the sheriff. It was during roll call. And the sheriff asked me to step out. I stepped out and he said, I'm thinking of evacuating the jail. What do you think? And I was stunned and said, well, do whatever you say. He goes, well, don't tell anybody until I call you back. And that's when he had a conversation with Palm Beach and Palm Beach agreed to take us. So then he called me back and he goes, well, you're not gonna get up a lot of assistance because of the storm, we're, we're doing preparations. So this is going to fall on you all to pull this off. And so the mayhem started. partnership with Monroe County over the years, um, conducting accreditations and stuff uh, with Monroe County. Um, for this event um, in particular, uh, I've received a call from Chief Deputy Gogger and Sheriff Ramsey the night before uh, the hurricane event, um, at which point um, the sheriff had requested um, that we could possibly take their inmates into our facility. Um, my first question was, how many inmates do you have? At that point, the sheriff explained to me that it was approximately 460 inmates and we immediately said that we can do that. So the inmates are being housed in two of our facilities at West Detention Center. They're being housed um, separately from um, our other inmates. Um, at the main detention center, they're housed throughout the facility in our linear portion, the East and West Tower, and also in our South Tower. It actually starts um, from the time of their arrival, because if you if you look at any of the video, you see where uh, PBSO was set up for the departing of the, um, their arrival to get them into the facility, get them into secured areas. Um, as their staff members arrived also, they assisted with the lines that were set up with getting them off of the bus, which showed that it was going to take teamwork to pull all of this off. And it makes a world of difference when everybody's working together yet the job accomplished. And um, throughout the entire time that Monroe has been here, I think everybody agreed that it doesn't matter what it was that any of us was dealing with, we dealt with it together, and that goes a long ways. The major said it best, we're family, we're gonna get it done. So the, the, biggest, the biggest thing that, you know, besides the teamwork that was a challenge for us was that about when we have 120 staff up here not knowing what took place with their homes and their families down south and who evacuated was the morale. And what Palm Beach County has offered um, with, with everything from food to cars to housing to taking our stuff to the cleaners for, so we can have neat uniforms, look professional, um, has been great. Uh, about 20% of our staff has lost everything. And that's a great difficulty to go on and keep them not only positive but keep their morale going but we couldn't do that without the PBSO and everything they have provided. We arrived here a uh, pretty run down and broken staff because we, a lot of our staff have been up for over 30 hours at that point and working. working. And they were tired and a lot of them didn't know what the future was going to be for Monroe County when we returned. However, through working with Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, I watched this team of broken individuals gel together <laughs> because of the support we got here and Palm Beach County has done so much for them that I'm watching them smile, laugh, and joke. And it's just like a normal day as you walk around the facility. It's just like a normal day at work. Everybody's smiling, having a good time. We know each other much better now. Um, I, I want to say that we made a lot of friends in Monroe um, a lot closer. Everyone that I meet, even walk through the hallways that work for, for Monroe County, are just so appreciative. They come up to me and they say, thank you, Major. We really, really do appreciate all your hospitality. Brothers and sisters in green take care of each other. Monroe County Sheriff's Office got their privilege of experience being embraced by a group of people. It just rekindles your passion for mankind, how nice and generous the people can be to each other. Just, you all did an outstanding job. You've impressed me. I've made friends for life. I already had friends for life, but now I have a whole bunch of friends for life because people I've never even seen before get out of line and come over and give me a hug. Just to make you feel better. Come on, sir.
seven individual county that came three counties away and we did what we always do. We always support, no matter who it is. We don't attach a name to it. And for me, that's the most beautiful portion of all of this. It ain't about a name. It ain't about an individual. It's just about doing the right thing. And I truly believe that we've demonstrated that and we'll do it for anybody else, regardless of where they're from or where they're coming from. It's about working together and making it happen. And we've done that. Thank you.